The story of Psyche begins with a mortal woman, born beautiful and fair, but destined to become entwined with the gods. After a series of unfortunate events, Psyche found herself falling in love with Eros, the god of physical love. Despite their love for each other, Psyche was met with a series of seemingly impossible trials to prove her worthiness to the gods. One task included gathering a sample of sheep's golden fleece, a seemingly insurmountable feat Psyche, however, was determined and resourceful, eventually succeeding in her mission. Her trials were not yet over though, as she was tasked with finding the elusive god of love himself. With the help of a variety of creatures she encountered on her journey, Psyche finally found Eros. The two were reunited, and Psyche was granted immortality, along with beauty that rivaled even the goddess of love, Aphrodite. Psyche's story continued to inspire artists for centuries after her tale was first told. Her beauty and grace were often depicted in various works of art, from painted works to sculptures and vases. Even today, Psyche's story continues to serve as a testament to the power of true love and the strength and determination needed to overcome any obstacle, no matter how impossible it may seem. But as Psyche waited for her fate, a gentle breeze lifted her up and carried her to a beautiful palace, where she was treated like a queen. Every night, a mysterious lover visited her, and although she never saw his face, he lavished her with love and affection. As the days passed, Psyche began to grow homesick and begged her lover to let her visit her family. He reluctantly agreed, but warned her never to look at him. Psyche's sisters, still jealous of her, convinced her to peek at her lover while he slept, and to her horror, she saw that he was not a hideous monster, but the strikingly handsome Eros. Feeling betrayed, Eros left Psyche, and she was forced to wander the earth searching for him. She underwent numerous trials and obstacles, including facing the wrath of Aphrodite, before finally being reunited with Eros in the end. Together, they pleaded with Zeus to grant them immortality, and he agreed, making them one of the few mortal immortal couples in Greek mythology. Once upon a time in ancient Greece, there was a beautiful goddess named Psyche. She was admired by many, but her own father abandoned her on a rock in the middle of nowhere where she awaited her fate. Everyone was expecting a deadly beast to appear and devour her, but that did not happen. Instead, a gentle wind blew and Zephyrus, the Greek lord of the West Wind, appeared. He was amazed by Psyche's beauty and took her in his arms to a beautiful palace made of gems and gold. Psyche was all alone in the palace, and an invisible voice welcomed her and instructed her to make herself at home. The invisible voice played soothing music, and Psyche was content with her new surroundings. The voice belonged to her new husband, whom she was prohibited from seeing. Every night her husband would visit her, but Psyche desired the company during the day as well. She missed her sisters and asked to see them. Her sisters arrived, and they were jealous of Psyche's beautiful palace and her invisible husband. They convinced Psyche to betray her husband's trust by asking to see his face. Psyche gave in to her sisters and disobeyed her husband's wishes. Her act of betrayal woke him up and caused him to be hurt. Injured and betrayed, her husband flew away to his mother, and his palace vanished. Psyche was heartbroken by the consequences of her actions. She was lost and pitted by goddess Demeter who instructed her to seek Aphrodite's forgiveness. Psyche went to Aphrodite and begged for her forgiveness. In exchange for Aphrodite's forgiveness, she was tasked with completing a torturous set of trials to prove her worthiness. Through the trials, Aphrodite forgave her, and Psyche regained her husband's trust. Psyche learned that love requires trust and that betraying that trust could have severe consequences. She and her husband lived happily ever after. The End Do you want to explore more Greek mythology stories? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.